have a think about which animals were around in the Stone Age. Some of the animals that are around in the Stone Age are still around today. Others died out many thousands or hundreds of years ago and we, still, and we can't see them anymore. If we go right back to the Ice Age, the sort of animals that might have been around then would include mammoth, which of course is like a big elephant with a big hairy coat, sometimes known as a woolly mammoth. There might also be woolly rhinos, which are rhinoceroses, which again had woolly coats to help them survive in the cold weather. Rhinoceroses are quite rare today, but they are still around. There aren't any woolly rhinoceroses left anymore, though. There was also a very large type of deer called a megaloceros, which sounds like a, a dinosaur, doesn't it? It sounds like a dinosaur name, but megaloceros was a massive deer with huge spreading antlers, um, also sometimes called a, an Irish elk. And uh, they would have been a very um, frightening thing to come face to face with. Um, megaloceros have, uh, have, have died out many thousands of years ago, as have the, the woolly rhinos and the mammoths. There was also a large type of uh, bull or, or sort of cow called an aurochs and they were much bigger than the sort of bulls and cows that you see around today. Now there is a type of aurochs still around that's called a heck ox and the heck ox is only, even at its biggest, is only about two thirds as big as the aurochs but you can still see them in some places and see them running around a bit like they did in herds in the Stone Age when they were wild. Other animals? Deer. There were deer all over the place at some point or other in the Stone Age. In the colder times it was reindeer. They could survive in much colder climates, much colder weather and reindeer would have been there in many many thousands. Huge herds of reindeer roaming backwards and forwards as the seasons changed. The other type of deer that you see in the more warmer times, is, of course, is the red deer. And again, reindeer and red deer are still around today. Reindeer tend to live in the far north of the world. Uh, red deer you can see in parks um, around, us, around us today. So reindeer and red deer, they were very important. They were part of the, uh, the, the reason why people went hunting. They were one of the main reasons people went hunting, because it had so many things on them that could be used. Now, in cave art, the two most popular animals that you see drawn in southern Europe, in France and Spain, places like that, where we found coloured cave art on the walls of caves, the two most popular animals are bison and horses. They're the ones that you see the most of. They're the ones that they drew the most. Now, bison, sometimes known as buffalo, they're still around in parts of the world. They were like a big animal with a sort of big shaggy coat around its head and big horns and they used to run around in herds. They were particularly um, around in North America in the 19th century. They could be seen in huge numbers. Not so many there today. Uh, wild horses, horses in the early Stone Age, certainly in the, in the um, old Stone Age, were wild. They were not tame. They didn't pull carts. They, didn't, they weren't there for people to ride on. They were wild horses and horses in the Stone Age were hunted. In addition to that, we have wolves and hyenas. Wolves and hyenas would have been around as well. Some hyenas' teeth were found at a, a, at a cave site in North Wales recently, and they've been found in other places. Now hyenas, again, we think of places like Africa, don't we, when we, when we think of hyenas, but they were around and their, their remains, like their teeth, have been found. Wolves are certainly around. <coughs> And wolves even might have been tamed. Um, if somebody found an abandoned wolf cub, they might have tamed it and used it to help them go hunting. And we know that even quite early on in the Stone Age, people had uh, hunting dogs and tame wolves uh, almost as pets, which, uh, which they used to help them go hunting. Other things that you might want to look out for in the Stone Age, cave bears. And they were bears that lived all the time in caves. They didn't just hibernate in there they didn't, in the winter. They stayed in there, they lived in caves all the time. So if you're wanting to go into a cave early in the Stone Age, you might want to check whether there are any bears in there. And in some places, there's a particular cave at a place called Ruffignac in France and others, where you can actually see still the little hollows in the ground that the cave bears used to sleep in inside the cave. 
The other creature that you wouldn't want to meet in a cave would be a cave lion. Um, they were something that, that like, like the modern lions that you see today, um, they were around too at certain times in the Stone Age. You also have to remember, of course, that there were cold times in the Stone Age where some animals were around, and there were warm times in the Stone Age when there were other animals around. They found the remains of elephants and hippopotamuses beneath London in old layers from the Stone Age, from times when it was very, very cold. Uh, sorry, from times when it was very, very warm. Some people also ask about the saber-toothed tiger. The saber-toothed tiger was the like the big cat with the huge, sharp teeth. Like that. And the saber-toothed tiger is also known as Smilodon. Smilodon. Although you probably wouldn't smile if you came face to face with one. But Smilodon, that's the saber-toothed tiger, was only around in North America. It wasn't around in Europe, but it was there. And some Stone Age people would have had to face up to it. So there are all sorts, of, all sorts of animals around in the Stone Age, in the Old Stone Age particularly. Not all of them are with us anymore, not all of them have survived since then, and some of them were very large and very fierce.